ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo ng mga um, problems na kung saan gumagamit ng derivative rules pero yung functions na gagamitin natin ay yung uh, mga defined functions tulad nitong nandito sa example natin today. So, suppose u and v are functions of x na differentiable at x equal to 2. Given tayo ng information na yung u of 2 daw is equal to 3, u prime of 2 is negative 4, v of 2 is equal to 1, and v prime of 2 is 2. So, gagamitin natin yung information na yan pagkatapos natin kunin yung derivatives ng problem number 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, umpisahan natin doon sa pagkuha ng derivative no problem number 1, which is derivative ng u, v. So, sa problem number 1, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung product rule. So, number 1, yung d, dx daw, ng u times v, gagamit tayo ng product rule. So, a product rule, uh, copy first, derivative ng second, plus derivative ng first, and then copy second, or the other way around. So, ang gagawin ko dito, pagkuha ng ddx na to, would be u that v prime is simply copy times derivative ng second plus derivative ng first times copy ng second. So, ito yung product rule natin. So, after natin kunin yung derivative, kailangan daw natin kunin yung derivative niya evaluated at x equal to 2. So, ito lang yung mga values na yan na gagamitin natin para dito. So, yung u is 3, v prime of 2 is 2, plus u prime of 2, which is negative 4, times v which is 1. So after natin ma-substitute yung mga given values, simplify lang natin siya. 6 plus negative 4, which is simply 6 minus 4. So yung function natin is simply equal to 2. So ito ngayon yung derivative ng uv in terms of x equal to 2 given yung mga information na yan. So, second problem naman, kukunin naman natin yung um, u over v prime. So, dito naman, mapapansin natin na fraction siya, so gagamitan natin siya ng quotient rule. So, yung u over v prime is simply found using quotient rule. At ang quotient rule, alam natin yan, low derivative ng high minus high derivative ng low, all over low squared. So, ito yung gagamitin ko para matandaan ko yung quotient rule. So, ang u v prime natin would be low, so v times derivative of high, so u prime minus high, so u times derivative ng low, which is v prime. So, lahat ng yan, notation lang, gamit yung ating formula ng quotient rule. At yung low natin is v, so it's going to be v squared. So, ito yung u over v prime. So, after natin makuha yung derivative, kailangan daw natin siya i-evaluate in terms of the given x, which is 2. So, substitution lang siya. So, v is equal to 1, u prime is negative 4, minus u, which is 3, and v prime, which is 2, all over v squared, and v is 1, so square lang niya. So simplifying our fraction, kasi nasubstitutan natin yung values, would simply be negative 4 minus 6 all over 1, or simply negative 10. So, yan yung evaluated derivative no problem number 2. So, problem number 3 naman, parehas lang siya, pero this, this time, yung derivative naman ng v over u. So, sa so number 3, kukunin daw natin yung derivative with respect to x ng v over u. So, quotient rule ulit yung gagamitin natin. 
So, hindi ko na isusulat yung low D highs. Alam na rin naman natin yung formula niya. So, magiging V U prime siya, which is simply low times derivative of high minus high times derivative of low, which is U prime, all over low squared. At i-evaluate natin siya in terms of x equal to 2. So ito ngayon yung mga values natin na gagamitin. So u is 3. v prime is 2. Minus v is 1. And u prime is equal to negative 4. All over u squared, which is, ang u natin is 3. So, by simplifying our fraction, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 4, all over 9. So, 10 over 9, yung ating derivative given this information. At yung last function natin na, na isosolve would be 3u minus 2v plus uv quantity prime. So, ibig sabihin ko kunin natin yung derivative ng bawat function. So, 1, 2, 3 terms. So, tatlong terms yung i-differentiate natin. So, sa number 4, um, pagkuha ng derivative ng 3u, power rule, 2v, power rule, plus uv, product rule. So, ito lang yung gagamitan natin ng special rule. para sa derivative niya. So, ang derivative nito ngayon will simply be 3 times u prime minus 2 times v prime plus product rule which is u times v prime plus u prime times v. So, notice that when I'm doing yung product rule, um, kahit ano sa kanila yung gusto nyong kunan ng derivative first, as long as consistent kayo dun sa formula, it, you will still get the same result kasi addition siya. So, commutative, so pwede siyang magbaliktaran. Uh, so, ngayon, meron tayong 3 u prime minus 2 v prime plus u v prime plus u prime v. And by substitution, kukunin ulit natin yung mga values na yan, we'll have 3 times u prime, which is negative 4, minus 2 times v prime, which is 2, plus u, which is 3, multiplied by v prime, which is 2, plus u prime, which is negative 4, multiplied by v um, u prime, which is negative 4, multiplied by v, which is 1. So, algebra na lang yung gagawin na, gagamitin natin kasi order of operation lang siya. So, to evaluate it further, we have negative 12 minus 4 plus the quantity of 6 minus 4. So, negative 12 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is um, 2. So, from left to right. So, negative 12 minus 4 is negative 16 plus 2 and negative 12 plus 2 will be negative 14. Yeah. So, yung uh, derivative no problem number 4 at x equal to 2 will be negative 14.